Hi, here is a review for the Christmas Cafe at Seashell Cove by Karen Clark. I did this for a book tour a few days ago, but I wanted to go ahead and do a review on it because it's a great little romance. Uh, there were several things that I liked about the book, and since I mostly read psychological thrillers, I thought it would be a nice break to provide a review for a sweet romance. Here is the description. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas at the cafe at Seashell Cove, where there's hot chocolate to keep you warm and the man of your dreams could be waiting. Interior designer Tilly Campbell loves being carefree and single, but her latest job is redecorating the local cafe at a Christmas party. And when her friends confess their plans for the big night, including a proposal, a declaration of love, and a pregnancy announcement, Tilly starts to wonder if she might be missing out. Transforming the cafe into a winter wonderland is more of a challenge than she thought. So when she bumps into George's gorgeous newcomer Seth, Tilly wonders or welcomes the distraction. Seth is a single father struggling to settle his son Jack into their new cottage, and Tilly is determined to help them make their house into a home in time for Christmas. But with the cafe still in chaos just days before the party, it looks like it's going to be a Christmas to remember for all the wrong reasons. With friends old and new relying on her, can, Silly, can Tilly save the Christmas party? And could she finally find love waiting for her under the mistletoe? A hot woman hilarious read about friendship, family, and the meaning of Christmas. Perfect for fans of Sue Moorcroft, Holly Martin, and Debbie Johnson. As I mentioned, this was for a blog tour for Booker Tour Room uh, Publishing. It, the release date for the book was October 5th, and I gave it four and a half stars. The review will be rather brief. It starts off, my review starts off simply as Tilly is a woman. She doesn't have a job per se, but she does have a passion, that, and that is for interior designing. Her current job is renovating the cafe in the picturesque town of Seashell Cove, and in, in so doing, she's under a lot of pressure. She finds out from her friends that each of them want her to finish this job so that they can use this renovated area for a very particular purpose. Meanwhile, she runs into a, a gentleman by the name of Seth Donovan. He's a former race car driver, and she manages to save his son from a dreadful accident, and so now he feels indebted to her, and he wants to do her a favor. As far as Tilly is concerned, she's dating someone named Rufus, and she's 30 years of age. Rufus is her first serious or quote-unquote real relationship. Also, as far as Tilly's life is concerned, her sister Bridget and her little niece are now living back at home. Now, Seth really wants to repay her for saving his son. Meanwhile, Tilly quickly learns that she herself has some saving to do when it comes to Seth and his son. For starters, she does propose to help Seth out, yet in a way to return the favor for saving his son. Meanwhile, if she does this favor for him, it may be really hard because this guy may just have been the one man that truly snagged her heart, and he may never be hers. He likes Tilly quite a bit, but right now, Seth is more concerned with his role as a father and dealing with his overbearing mother. Now, there's a lot of relationships that are explored in this book. That of Tilly and her sister Bridget, Seth and his son, even Seth and his mother, and Tilly and her friends. All of these blend together seamlessly to create a loving, sweet story. This is the third book in a trilogy, and in the first two books, Tilly's two friends have found true love. As a matter of fact, others have found love. And now that they have this love and fulfillment, it's great for Tilly on the one hand, but then there's a little bit of a void in her heart. Because remember, she is dating Rufus, but she's just not so sure if he's the guy for her. This is a wonderfully sweet romance story. Both Tilly and Seth are great characters. They're, they're very endearing, and it's easy to become drawn to both of them. There is a measure of angst and pressure in this book. And due to this angst, we have to wonder, will these two ever find each other? 
Yes, this is a romance, and those of us who read romance know that romances, romances have a happily ever after. What's good about this romance is the path that is led, that we are led on in order to reach this happily ever after. Now, this is also said to be a humorous book, and I will say that it, it is. And there's one character that really makes me laugh, and her name is Gwen. She made me laugh more than once. Then there's Felicity. Seth's mother. There's a lot of going back and forth between Tilly and Felicity and that's quite enjoyable too because it uh, helps to show Tilly's character but it also helps to alleviate some of the tension that's there between Seth, his son, and his mother. As mentioned there's a lot of uh, sensitivity in this book so it really did pull on my heartstrings. So that's why, even though I'm a little bit late with this review, I really wanted to, to do it. It has a wonderfully happy ending. And I will say that, as mentioned already, that this is the third in the Seashell Cove series. I have enjoyed the second book in the series. And each one does stand well as a, a standalone, but if you like connected characters and connected stories, then don't hesitate to grab the other two titles. That's it. That's my review. Uh, I will link a, a copy of my blog review in the description below, and I will also link my Amazon can, uh, link to the book in case you should decide to purchase the title via the link. Just know that as an Amazon affiliate, I have to let you know that should you buy the book via the link, then I will make a few pennies, but it won't affect the cost of the book to you. All right, that's it. I hope you enjoy the book. I, I really am glad that I got this review done, and I look forward to seeing what you thought about it. All right, that's it. Thank you.